Hello, dear friends, and welcome to College Cooking. Today, I don't have much time, so I'm making a caramel apple. Enjoy the video. Yeah. <laughs> so here we're keeping the ingredients pretty simple. We've got some caramel, some apple, some walnuts, and some save economise, which is French for sprinkles. Bet you guys didn't know I knew French. Uh, the first step you're going to want to do is take the sticker off your apple. This is a gala apple, so so that's, that's just so you know. Gala apple. Gala apple. Gala is French for apple. Not really. Might be though. Next you're going to want to take a knife and slice your apple. I didn't want to dirty a real dish, so I used a, a butter knife. Yep. You're gonna want to do that four times because there are four quarters of your apple. Now, if you were to cut your apple into thirds, you want to use three slices. Hashtag math. You betcha. You bet your buttons. That's how it's going down. I hope everyone's excited for the U.S. presidential elections because I sure am. You know those politicians. I really enjoy those politicians. So now that that step's done. Um, We're going to continue on to the next step, which is to take your caramel, which is French for caramel, and you're going to want to squeeze it all over your apple. If you can see apple afterwards, you probably don't have enough caramel. That's usually the best indicator. Now, my voice sounds very serious, but I'm actually joking. Don't let my tone of voice trick you. Next, you can... Uh, Next, you can take your walnuts, which is French for walnuts, and you can sprinkle a few of those over. You don't have to use walnuts. You're welcome to use peanuts or cashews or what other, what other kind of nuts are there? I think that's all of them. Next, you can take your save economise, economise, and sprinkle some of them jimmies over there. Actually, I think jimmies are just the black sprinkles. These are just sprinkles. Sorry, friends. And uh, there you go. That's how you got yourself a caramel apple. So that whole video was filmed in one clip, so I figured I might as well add some extra to it, just so you guys are getting your money's worth. Not that you're paying anything. Anyway, we'll tell a story. Once upon a time, there was a man named Anthony who never smiled. He really wanted to smile, so he decided to go on a smiling adventure to see if he could smile. So first he tried petting hamsters, but he did not smile. Then he tried shooting guns, but he did not smile. He tried being on point, but he did not smile. He tried looking at the sun. All it did was blind him, but he did not smile. Ignore this. Yeah, no, he did not smile. He tried looking at cats, but he did not smile. He tried dancing, but he did not smile. He tried the bow and arrow, but he did not smile. He achieved world peace, but he did not smile. Basically, he had a hard time smiling. Did I tell you he also tried working out and dancing? Nothing made him smile. So, he took a file and he made a pile next to the style of the day. Wait, no, no, that's a bad story. Okay, and he was so fed up with not smiling that he took his finger and he stuck it into the air and he said, I don't want to smile. And he lived happily ever after. The end. Well, now that story time is out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I always make up those stories on the spot, so you can be very impressed with me. Anyway, we're going to give these a try, these apples. As I said before, don't want to dirty dishes, so I'm using my knife to eat the apples. This is called being environmentally friendly. Huh, <laughs> delicious. This is my dinner. Yum. That's the best thing about being a responsible adult. You can do responsible adult things. The lighting's not very good in this shot because we look at that shadow. Oh, I like this. I've never had walnuts on a caramel apple before, but it works. Wow, I really like this. Maybe that's because I'm hungry and this is my dinner. <laughs> I, I'm obligated to like it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys have great weeks. Me, I'm not gonna have a great week. I have four midterms in seven days, so if you find me dead, just kind of roll me to my next midterm. I'll appreciate it. Ha 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 ha